All right, this is Algebra 2. This is our third time, I think, practicing for the quiz. Um, and we're having our quiz tomorrow, so here we go. Jumping right in. Log base 3 of 27. Well, let's try this. 3, I want to use blue. Change to blue. 3 times 3, that would be 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, let's try another copy of 3. Times 3 again. 3 times 9 is 27. Awesome. Okay, so this was... 3 to the 1, 2, there are 3 of those 3s. Three 3s three threes is a power of 27. So again, this is asking what power does 3 need to be raised to to get to 27? 3 needs to be raised to this third power. And this one. So this is essentially asking log base 10 of 1. Whenever I don't have a base, you assume it's base 10. And 10, this is asking 10 to the what power gives you 1? Well, anything. 10, 12, 13, negative 1,000, anything for this base. It doesn't matter what I put for the base. Anything to the power of 0 gives you 1. So the answer here is 0. Number 2, log base 1 6 of 36. Well, the first thing that I need to do, again, this is asking 1 6 to this whole thing. What power does it need to be raised to to get to 36? Well, if I raise it to the power of a negative something, negative means flip. So if I flip this over, 6 over 1, that comes from the fact that it's a negative. If it was like, for example, negative 1, um, I know that that box is a little bit too small, but negative 1, you can kind of see it in there. That would change this to positive 1 and flip it. So it definitely needs to be negative. And then now that I have 6, 6 to what power gives me 36. 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 squared is the same thing as 6 times 6. So 6 squared is 36. That means our answer was negative 2. Negative came from taking the reciprocal or flipping the fraction. And then the 2 came from 6 to the power of 2 giving us 36. The hardest question for the first two is definitely part B of number 2 because we haven't seen it before. So one thing that is important to note is 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125, which um, you can kind of reverse. Um, you can say that the cube root of 125 is 5. Um, that is helpful. Um, it is also helpful to know that if I have the, the square root of x, that's equal to x to the 1 half power, which we do know the cube root of x is equal to x to the 1 third power. And you can probably pick up on the pattern here. The fourth root of x is x to the 1 fourth power, et cetera, et cetera. So that was supposed to be a 4 here. Um, for example, the, the fifth root of x is x to the 1 fifth. So what we need to do is essentially we need to somehow convert 125 into 5 by taking its cube root. Taking the cube root is the equivalent of taking it to the 1 third. And then once I have it to the 1 third power, I need to flip it because right now we have 1 over Sorry, when I take the cube root of 125, I have 5. That's supposed to be a 5. And then I need to flip it to become 1 over 5, which means this needs to be a negative. That's one way to think about it. There is a second way to think about it, which I'm going to go through really quickly, just in case you prefer this um, second style. Technically, I have 125 to the what power gives me 1 fifth. And I'm going to convert these both into base 5 and then essentially solve for x. So this what power, instead of having this as a box, I'm going to have that as an x. So let me, let me grab that box. Yoink. And you are going to be called an x. So we're going to solve for x. Well, this is really 5 to the power of 3 for that 125. And that all is to the power of x. And over here, we have 5 to the power of negative 1. Because again, I'm going to flip it and make it to just a normal base of 5. Again, when I have a power to a power, you multiply. This is going to be 5 to the power of 3x is equal to 5 to the power of 1. In order for the left-hand side of the equation and the right-hand side of the equation to be the same, the base must be the same and the exponent must be the same. Well, both of these have the same base. The only thing that's missing is the numerator, or sorry, not the numerator, the power, sorry. The power, these two need to be the same, and then the left side and the right side will be the same. So set 3x equals to negative 1, and then solve. You can divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to negative 1 third. Yet another way of solving the same problem. Moving on to number 3, um, part A. Whenever you have log base 10, I, I don't write base 10, it's basically asking how many zeros do you count? This has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 zeros. And it's that easy. And with um, scientific notation, it's even easier. There are two ways to think about it, both of which I covered in class. Uh, the easier way is just say, that's the answer, 103. 
1.103. The harder way of thinking about it is saying this is log base 10. 1 times anything is itself. And then log base 10 of 10 is just 1. This power would come down in front. Log base 10 of 10 cancels each other out. And I'm left with just that 103 that isn't canceled out. Um, a little bit harder to think about that way. I think most students will probably just remember, Mr. Snell, just take the power of 103. Moving on to number four. If log of x is in between 7 and 8, what are the three possible values of x? And here's the thing that you need to know, and this is very helpful from the last problem, is that log of 10 million is 7. And one thing that's also helpful to know, I'll come over here and say that log of, let's change this to 100 million. 100 million is 8, because I just added another 0, which means log of x needs to be between this number and this number, not including them, because I didn't have little equal to signs down here. So any number in between 1, 10 million and 100 million is fair game. So x, you can say um, x has to be between um, bigger than 10 million and smaller than 100 million. That's supposed to be an m. So an example would be like 12 billion, 12 million. Another example would be um, 89 million, 123. I'm just making up numbers. 7, 8, uh, that's supposed to be, yeah, sure. 7, 0, 6, sure. Just make up numbers. Anything that's between 10 million and 100 million. You can go um, and be super large. 999 million, 999, 919. Why didn't you do a 9 there? Just to annoy people. Um, and my, my nines are written too fast, but there it is. Anything between 10 million 100 million. We're good. Number five, rewrite using only natural logarithms, aka ln, to rewrite this thing. And normally we rewrite this with log base 10, but now I'm forcing you to use log base e. So again, this is the change of base formula. You just say it's natural log of the inside natural log of 20 divided by the natural log of the, the base here, 8. And that's all there is to it. Um, it's always going to be that, that same order over and over, no matter what I change this to for the uh, actual test. Maybe I'll say use log base 2, and then you'll say log base 2 of 20 over log base 2 of 8. This base can be whatever you want it to be as long as that base is the same thing for the numerator and the denominator. And number six, um, a little bit harder than our old practice quizzes. We're going to do, um, this is going to be, these two combined is log of 14 divided by 7, which is just 2, and then... I'm going to essentially multiply by 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. So this is going to be log of 10. And I did this a little bit differently than I wrote on the board. x is equal to 10, I suppose. x is equal to 10. And again, um, showing my work a little bit more, this is really 14 um, divided by 7 times 5 is equal to x. That's essentially what I'm writing here. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is x. Finally, we have this problem. I'm going to kind of write it um, without the logarithms here. It's really 18 times x divided by 6 is equal to 30. Um, changing our pluses into times, our minuses into dividing by, and equals to still equals. Um, well, 18 times x divided by 6 is the same thing as 18x over 6. So I'm going to kind of rewrite it like that. And 18x divided by x, uh, uh, 18x divided by 6, thank you, is really 3x. This is 3x, because 18 divided by 6 is 3. 3x is equal to 30. And from here, divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 10. Uh, x is equal to 10 twice. Interesting. But there it is. I guess I should box my answer when I have work all over the place so Mr. Snow can see it a little bit easier. And that covers our practice quiz for Algebra 2. Thank you.